Welcome to cost price, selling price and break even analysis. This video is for grade 10, 11 and 12. All right, let's go to question one. Susan sells cups of Milo. It costs 950 to make one cup of Milo. Her daily cost is 90 rand. So we have to write down the equation to calculate Susan's daily cost in rand. So we want the equation for Susan's daily cost. Uh, all right, so the cost in rands, and when you write out an equation, you always want to start off with the fixed cost or the fixed value. In this case, the fixed cost is 90 rands. Plus, we're told that uh, it also costs a 950 uh, to make one cup of Milo. So we've got 950 times N, where N represents the number of cups of Milo. So that is our equation. So let's go now to question two. In question two, we have to complete the table. And of course, we're going to use the equation from uh, question one. Remember this equation for Susan's cost, 90 Rand was the fixed cost and then 950 uh, times N, the number of cups. So we want to put the part on the right into a calculator. We want to plug it into a calculator. And the way we do that is we will take 90 plus 9 Rand 50. And times we will represent uh, N with a bracket. Okay, and then once we have punched the right hand side of the equation into the calculator, we may now use it to calculate different values. Okay, so starting with zero, what will the cost be if there are no cups of Milo? Uh, that are being made. So if the number of cups is zero, then the cost will be 90. That makes sense. It will only be the fixed cost because no cups were made. So the only cost will be the fixed cost. For 20 cups, what will the cost be? So we just substitute 20. So for 20 cups, the cost will be 280. And for 30 cups, the cost will be 375. All right, and then for the last column, you need to work backwards. That is called an inverse, and this is mainly for grade 12, when you have to work backwards. All right, so how do you do uh, an inverse? How do you work your way backwards? The first thing you want to do is you want to plug uh, the information into the graph. The cost uh, in this case is 850, so we can put that into the graph. The cost is 850, and the fixed cost is 90 plus 950 times N. Okay, so what are we trying to calculate here? Here we're trying to calculate N. So we're trying to calculate this n, and in order to calculate the n, we want to get rid of this 90, and we also want to get rid of the 950. And we can get rid of those numbers by using inverses. Okay, let's start with 90. All right, the 90 is being added. Now, the inverse of addition is subtraction. So if you want to cancel out this 90, you must actually subtract it on the left hand side to get rid of it so on the right hand side you are left with 950 times n and of course uh, 850 minus 90 is 760 you can check that if you need to we've got 950 times n and remember again that we only want n, so we need to get rid of this 950 also. 
Now the 9 rain 50 is being multiplied on the right. And what is the inverse of multiplication? Division. So to get rid of it on the right, we can divide by it on the left hand side of the equation. So that is how you do inverse as grade twelves. And then of course you would go to your calculator. Seven hundred and sixty divided by nine hundred and fifty cents will give you eighty. All right, so the number of cups will be 80. So D is 80 when the cost is 850. And of course, grade 12, if you have not seen the videos on inverses, you must watch those videos, okay? Uh, just go to my playlist and you'll find those videos. So let's go to question three. In question three, we're told that Susan sells the cups of Milo for 12 rand per cup. Now again, we need to write down the equation and this time for income. All right, so the equation for income is much easier, right? Because here there's no fixed income. Uh, we just told that it's 12 rand 50 per cup. So the equation will be 12 rand 50 times N because we know that n is the number of cups. So that would be the equation used to calculate Susan's income. So again, let's go and fill, uh, complete the table for income. And again, before we complete the table, we want to plug the right hand side of this equation into the calculator. So you go to your calculator and the right hand side of that equation is 1250. So we'll say 12 rand 50 cents and we'll multiply that by n because we'll use brackets to represent n. So we can plug different values of n for zero number of cups. The cost would also be zero. That makes sense. If you don't sell anything, you're not going to get anything. For 20 number of cups, the income is 250. For 30 number of cups, substitute 30, the income is 375. Now again, we come to the inverse question. Um, and the inverse question uh, is for grade 12s. So when you have to work backwards, the first thing you want to do is want to plug into the equation. Your income is 1000. So your income is 1000. Okay. So here, uh, remember we're trying to calculate N. This is what we want to calculate N. So we need to get rid of the 1250. The 1250 is being multiplied, as we can see. And what is the inverse of multiplication? Division. So to get rid of the 1250, on the right-hand side, we divide by it on the left-hand side. That's how we get rid of it. So we're left with N. And of course, 1000. One thousand divided by twelve and fifty cents is equal to eighty. So n will be eighty. So the number of cups, uh, if the cost is one thousand, is eighty. For the next question, we have to find the break-even point. All right, and of course, uh, I've filled in all the other values. The break-even point is at 30, uh, but I just left it blank so that we could go back and understand why. 
Okay, let's start with cost. Let's go back to the cost table. In the cost table, at 30 cups, the cost was 375. So, 30 cups for cost, we had 375. And what about income? Let's go back to the income table and check uh, what the income is for 30 cups. So there's the income table in the previous question. And you can see that for 30 cups, income is also 375. All right. So that means uh, Susan will break even if she sells 30 cups. Why? Because at that point, as you can see, the cost is equal to income. So she doesn't make any profit and she also doesn't make any loss. So uh, Susan will break even at 30 cups. And of course, that's that basically the definition of the break even point. It's where uh, cost equals to income. So no profit, no loss, then you're breaking even. Okay, so our break-even point is at uh, 30 cups. Okay, so uh, the income graph has already been sketched. And uh, we have to sketch the cost graph on the same set of axes. And in order to sketch the graph, we first want to get our coordinate points. Uh, and then we'll draw a line through those points. Okay, so at zero, the cost is 90. So 90 will be over there, just below 100. And at 20, the cost is 280. At 20, 280 is over there. And at 30, the cost is 375. And of course, uh, 375 is the break even point. So at that point, uh, the graphs will touch. This is where the graphs will touch. And at 80, the cost is 850. So an 850 will be halfway between 800 and 900. So 850 somewhere there. And finally, uh, at 100 cups, the cost will be 1,040. So 1,040 is over there. And once we've got those points, uh, we can draw a line through them. So let's do that quickly. Okay. So we want to draw a line through those points to be able to sketch our graph. Okay. So that is basically our cost graph. 